Today, I'll show you how to display bill attachments links in your accounts payable report in QuickBooks Online. Let's get started. Welcome back to my channel. I am Ufuma Gaga, an elite QuickBooks Pro advisor and financial controller for nonprofit organizations. Now today I'm showing you my workaround to get bill attachments or any type of attachment to display in certain reports that you run in QuickBooks Online, in particular, the accounts payable report. Now, this is the easy way to share reports with a manager that maybe needs to review the list of bills to be paid and approve it or if you're trying to send a list of uh, a report that shows a source document of your transaction to your CPA, this is the workaround you need to use. This method works for accounts payable reports. It works for any kind of report in QuickBooks Online that allows you to display the memo slash description field. Um, or add any attachments to transactions. So this is gonna work regardless. Now, in particular for this video, I have done a very detailed blog post telling you how to go through the entire process that I'm about to cover. But in this video, I'm going to show you a quicker and faster way to use a Chrome extension to make this entire process seamless. So the first thing you need to do is download the URL shortener Chrome extension. So if you have a Chrome browser, this can probably work in Microsoft Edge if you have access to that, but this is the Chrome extension that you need to download. Again, I will put all the links to this information in the description box. So the link that you, the Chrome extension you need to download and install in your Chrome browser is called URL shortener. And it's by this particular, um, app developer that created it. It has almost like 1000 plus view. It's super amazing. Uh, there's beauty and privacy control. So your information is secured. This is the extension that I use. Now I have already downloaded the extension or added it to my Chrome. So I don't need to add it here again. There are other Chrome extensions that are similar. So if you search URL shortener, you will see that there are other ones that you could probably, you know, download. The one that I use is this first one here. This one that says URL shortener, this is the one that I use. It works super amazing. You can connect it to your Bitly account if you have that, but this is how it looks like. And the cool thing about this, when you install the extension, you need to click on the extension icon and then click on the gear icon. And you need to tell the system what type of URL shortener it should pick. You can use tinyurl.com, you can use Bitly, you can use any one of the other ones for if you have a Bitly free account, you can obviously turn on the Bitly one. It will ask you to enter a access code. Uh, you can turn that on. I tend to use the tiny URL because it's again, free. I don't need an account to you know use that option. The other thing, you can also create QR codes as well. If you tend to do a lot of things, you can delete your history if you need to. Um, and you can kind of mess around and play around with all the other settings in here. Once you select your option there, you need to click save changes and your changes will be saved. So that's step number one, download the Chrome extension called URL shortener. Step number two, when you are recording transactions in QuickBooks Online. So I'm gonna switch to my QuickBooks Online test file. And in here, I have a couple of transactions that I've recorded, but I'm going to go to the process of recording a bill. So I'm gonna enter a bill. And when I enter this bill, I am going to just pick a random company and I'm probably gonna give the bill today's date. I'm gonna make up a random number as the bill number. And let's just say this was, I'm gonna give it a random category. If you have not watched my previous video on how to record bill transactions inside of your QuickBooks Online, I highly recommend that you check out that video. 
and watch and go through the entire step and process so i'm just gonna code this bill to supplies just random stuff doesn't really matter because this is a test file i'm just gonna do random bill let's go three thousand if you are using location tracking and what the case may be make sure you select that if you are using class tracking i should say and then location tracking at the top so make sure you go through the normal process that you go through to record a bill the key thing you need to pay attention to is the memo field and the attachment field so i do have a sample attachments that i tend to use it's kind of like a credit card so i'm gonna drag and put my attachments here when you drag and drop your attachments here the first thing you need to remember is you need to save this transaction and open it up for it to work so i'm gonna right now i'm gonna add a memo here that says bill image link the reason you're adding this memo is to let the person that is reviewing the report tell let them know that when they click on the link that the link is actually clickable and they can actually see the reports the great thing about this workaround is you don't have to pay for a third party um, approval process that may cost like $30 or more, especially if your organization is on a smaller scale or medium scale and you don't want to pay that extra money. This is the workaround to get a, avoid having to go that route. So add the attachments in the memo, add bill image link. We're going to come back to that here. I am just going to save the transaction. I'm not saving it and closing it. I am only saving it because I only want it to be saved. The minute you save the transaction, guess what? You can now click on the image, the attachments that we included. When you click on that attachment, it is going to open up a URL that is actually hosted on Amazon server. Intuit uses Amazon server to host all of the attachments that you add into QuickBooks Online. So this is why this entire process is going to work perfectly for you. We already have our URL extension so all you need to do is right click on anywhere on the page or on the document and you should see the option to say shorten the current page link and copy so when i click on that it's going to shorten this url and then i can go back into quickbooks online and here i'm going to paste my link so let me repeat that again number one you downloaded the url extension um, in chrome Number two, when you are adding a bill inside of QuickBooks Online, the key thing you need to remember is when you add the attachment of that bill and you enter the memo field bill image link, click save. Don't click save and close. Make sure you just click the save button and then click on the attachment so that it opens up in a different tab for you. When that attachment opens up in a different tab, right click on the attachment and you should your your url shortener should show up here and say shorten the current page link and copy so you want to click on that and here you need to paste that link so when you paste that link the link is going to show up in there so now after pasting that link and after reviewing all your transaction that it makes sense now you can click save and close so that's how you are recording the transaction that's how you're putting the link in the memo field you need to put the link in the memo field because if you don't put it in the memo field you go put it somewhere else this process is not going to work now when we go into run reports we're going to go to the report center go to standard and i am going to find my accounts payable uh reports you could do the detail one or you can do the unpaid bills which is another option so you could do unpaid bills that is that's the same thing as the accounts payable um agent detail report so any one of these two reports will get you what you need so let's try this first one i'm going to open this in a second tab and then i'm going to open up unpaid bills so that you can see the entire process from start to finish so i'm going to close out my attachment so here is the accounts payable agent detail report notice that our description and memo column is not showing you need to click on the customize button here click change columns scroll all the way down check the box right to memo and description hit run 
here's our bill link. So I'm going to customize this report to take out some of the unnecessary things that I don't need. Um, I don't necessarily need location tracking in this bill. I do need everything else. Um, I need the opening balance, but I need it to be all the way at the end because I want to see my memo. Um, let's see, I need everything else. I'm going to click save and run that. So now this is my report. If you are somebody that tends to run this same report every single time you need to pay bills, every single time you need to process bills in QuickBooks Online, whether it's to pay it in your bank system or pay it with another bill pay app, my recommendation to you is to hit save customization here and then save this report and share it with the rest of your team members. So you could choose all um, and then maybe add a group if needed. So for right now, I am just going to save this report and I'm only going to leave it for my firm only. So here you have customized the report. Everything looks fine. Perfect. Now, here is the key thing that you need to know. The same process that I just did also works with the unbill, unpaid bills report. So remember our unpaid bills report, which is what this looks like. Again, you're going to repeat the customize going to scroll down, you're going to select the memo and description, and then you're going to move your columns, reorder your columns to the way that you want to see them displayed. Um, hit run. Same thing. So here's our unpaid bills report, which is exactly the same thing as your accounts payable agent report. The only difference between those two reports, one has a past due date. The other one um, also has the same thing. So they are both similar report that you can run to get the same purpose. But notice the key thing that you are, you need to be aware of is it does show you the bill image link. That is the key thing you need to be aware of. So now you need to send this report to somebody outside of QuickBooks Online. Maybe the person that is approving the bills to be paid is a treasurer of your organization or a manager or, or if you, your CPA or your tax preparer is asking for a report that has the same type of column, this is a key way that you can get this report to them. So here you can click on this um, export icon. You can either email this as a PDF to the person. So change it to landscape and then click save as PDF. So when I click save as PDF, I can save this report in my desktop. I can save that in my downloads folder. Whenever I, I can use my email um, system to send out this report, or that's one option. Another option is I can email somebody this report and it to show up as PDF. When the person opens up the PDF, they can click on that link. So I'm gonna open up the PDF that we downloaded here guess what's happening? You see how when I move my cursor to that link, it's it's a hyperlink. So when I click my cursor on this link, guess what? It's gonna open up the exact same bill that I attached to QuickBooks Online. Once again, this is the workaround that we do for many of our clients. And you can also take advantage of this, especially if you don't want to pay anywhere from $50 or more for a third party app to do approval process. It's a little manual, but downloading the Chrome URL extension works amazing. It cuts down all of the back and forth. Um, you don't have to, you know, copy the link, paste it in bitly and go through all of that process. The URL link shortens everything. Now you can do this with any type of file that houses, um, that works on Amazon stuff. You can do this with any type of file. So if you're looking at reading an article in your browser and you want to shorten the URL to post on social media, this is the extension that I use. I use it in everything in QuickBooks Online. So let's say we wanted to run another report that maybe is not a bill. So maybe I did a, um, I'm going to repeat the same thing. Let's say I, I created an expense. I'm going to exit out of here. I'm going to create an expense uh, transaction. So let's do a check. Actually, let's do a check. So we're going to do same company for a check. Um, nope. We're going to do another transaction. 
it's just going to do 500 pick whatever your class tracking and location tracking is and whatever the customer you want this billable to i'm going to put the same memo that i had in the previous one same attachment same everything and this is a check that i wrote you know let's do that for tomorrow um and then i am going to oops nope I'm going to close out of here i'm going to hit save and close now when I go find this check in my report, so I'm going to go back into my report center and I am going to run a, a transaction list by vendor report. Guess what? My memo slash description field, it has that build that we initially created, but I'm going to also do, I'm going to change the date range to include, here's the check that we wrote. So again, if I export this to PDF, as I'm in this PDF window, I can still click on this link and it will open up my attachment. So you can do this with a bill pay, um, a accounts payable report, a regular expense transaction report. I do this a lot to give auditors access to information in one report so we don't have to go chasing the goose and try to figure out where was the attachment store. This is the quick and dirty and simple way to get attachments inside of your financial reports out of QuickBooks Online without having to pay for extra futures, without having to pay for a third-party app to make this all happen. If you are using a third-party app like HubDuck or uh, Receipt Bank, which is now known as Dex Prepare, same function all those attachments are sinking in you can still go through the same process to put the link of the attachment inside the memo field of that transaction so i hope this video was helpful for you once again if you if you have any further questions don't forget to you know subscribe to my channel like and share this video so it's helpful for everybody don't forget to check out the tutorial that gives you more detailed level instructions of how to do that process, if you, especially if you're using a Bitly account. And as always, if you need one-on-one -on -one QuickBooks online training, feel free to message me with the link in the description box. Or if you have a quick question that or a troubleshooting issue, also use the link in the descri description box to schedule an appointment with either myself or one of my team members to be able to troubleshoot your QuickBooks online issue or your QuickBooks desktop issue if you are using desktop versus the online. Hope this video was helpful. Feel free to leave me a comment and let me know what you think.